Caitlin's coming. There's more than just that that are coming. What will the league have in store for them when they get there? Look, SVP, um, <laughs> reality is coming. And here we go. And you're going to see it on this side where, you know, they, you look superhuman playing against 18-year-olds, but... It's about time. What Caitlin's been able to do um, in her short career so far has just been uh, nothing short of remarkable. The one thing that I really love about her. Taylor is knew that. That's cap. <laughs> I, I accuse I, you of capping. Being a veteran and being in this league for a long, long time, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to see that and, you know, going into the future. Bullshit. Well, Donna Tarasi, it seems like reality came to give you the reality check that you needed and the WNBA activist league entirely because not only you took a massive L in that game but the crowd in your home stadium that you play in gave Caitlin Clark a standing ovation because of the way she plays the game let's be real and let's just be frank about it Caitlin Clark is the most entertaining and sole reason why the WNBA has had the peak interest that it has this year entirely solely because of this woman. It's because she's entertaining. She's not doing anything controversial, even though the activist league wants to make it seem like it's controversial by talking about idiotic things to race bait you into race baiting. But she never seems to fall for these idiotic traps that the activist league, the alphabet crew league, wants to lure her in. And not only is she's not falling for it, she's playing her game, bro. Like, she's doing things in just 19 games, 300 points, 100 assists, 100 rebounds. Fastest player to ever do so. I mean, she's not only just doing with her just being entertaining, she's doing it with her game. What did Michael Jordan say? I speak with my game. Maybe LeBron James can learn something from that and not have clutch sports, you know, try to integrate or influence everybody through nonsensical idiocy that they try to portray to show you why LeBron's great. Maybe his game should do the talking and not them so much. But I digress. Caitlin Clark is just showing the WNBA because I don't need to be a believer because since college, since I did that video, she's had my interest and she continues to prove it in the WNBA. The WNBA needs to get a reality check. I hope this game gave them a reality check because it clearly gave it to Donna Taurasi. She's the main reason and the only reason why people want to watch the WNBA, why people check the schedules is to see the Indiana Fever play. They don't check the schedules for the other teams. They check the schedules to see when this woman is going to play. You got people from Mexico. You got people from across the country that want to come see this woman play. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section. Is it time for the WNBA to just let this idiotic hatred go? or would they ever let it go because the main reason why we're watching is because of Caitlin Clark.